excited. Do you want to know what I'm so excited about? I found the key which will help me create an excellent National History Day project, one that will take me all the way to the final competition. This key helped unlock history for me, and it can do the same for you. National History Day is an exciting opportunity for you to understand and interact with history. There is a variety of projects available to you. I always enjoy getting my hands dirty and putting together an exhibit. No matter which project you choose, you will need to pick a topic and do research on it. While there are many different sources for information, books, articles, websites, I want to talk to you about primary sources. Primary sources are pieces of information that are created at the very moment history happened, or later recalled by someone who was there. For me, primary sources are the real key to making an excellent National History Day project. Primary sources are full of amazing detail and can really help you create a great National History Day project. Do you want to know where you can discover and learn more about primary sources? Well, that's easy. A good place to start is to visit a local archive public library history room, or historical society. I'm on my way in right now. Come along. Archives come in all different shapes and sizes, and specialize in providing access to these amazing primary sources. Archives can be as small as a room in your local public library with resources related to local history, or as large as the State Historical Society or the National Archives. Because archives contain one-of-a-kind primary sources, each archive is different with unique collections to explore. Today I'm heading to the archives at a local university. Let me give you some quick advice. Before you go to the archives, you should contact them. They will be able to tell you when they are open and if it is even worth going there. But having done research in the archives before, I can tell you that it is always exciting to go to the archives. Hello, I'm here to research Chippewa Indian for my National History Day project. I did some research online and discovered some archival collections related to my topic at the archives. Can you help me? Yes, I'd be glad to help you. Have you ever done research here or in another archives? This is my first time here, but I've done research in another archives before. Great, well I can help you. Before we get started, let's get you ready to begin research. Each archives has a different set of rules but there are many common rules. For example, you probably won't be allowed to bring any bags into the research room, and you certainly won't be able to bring any pens, food, or beverages in there with you. You will probably need to register as a security precaution, but that also allows the archive to know you better and help you with your research. Just remember, the materials in the archives are irreplaceable, and there are rules to make sure they last a long, long time. This is really an amazing collection. Here's some correspondence from the 1920s. And here is an old diary. And in this folder, we have some old photographs. Over in this box, An old scrapbook. And here are some maps. This stuff's really going to help me in my research. These primary sources are amazing and are really going to help me create a spectacular National History Day project. You too can use archival collections to create a great National History Day project. It's easy. Once you think of a great topic, do some searching and find an archive with collections related to your topic. You might not even need to go to the archives because some collections are available online and the archives can work with you through email. Think of it as historical detective work and start your journey now. 